So uh, my name is Taylor Hansen, and I am a product manager at a fintech company called Riskalyze. Uh, I've worked there for about five years, and let's see, started off as a customer support rep there, ran the support team, and now I make decisions on what we go and build. Yeah, how long have I been using LastPass and OnePass? So. I uh, used LastPass for probably three and a half years. Uh, we had an enterprise version of it. I was a user, not an admin. Uh, so primarily just using it to save and manage passwords, share them if I needed to as well. Uh, encrypted messaging, that's kind of mostly what we use LastPass for. And we use OnePass for exactly the same thing. And we've been using that for about a year at this point. That same enterprise edition, use it for the same things. So just a lot of feedback from users generally of LastPass, uh, having a lot of, well, one, the UI was kind of buggy, it felt like, right? You'd enter in your password, it wouldn't work, or you'd go to share something and then it wouldn't work. It was just a lot of issues, a lot of just feedback, I think, across the, our company that it wasn't meeting our, our needs, it wouldn't launch consistently. It just came down to it came down to performance issues for the most part, and just uh, general user consensus that we needed to try something else uh, at this point. It's really small, but I and I and I I can probably see why they're why they do it. But with one pass, it just drives me nuts that when you enter in your password in the master password section you can't actually see how many characters you're typing or that there's any feedback at all that you're typing into the box. And so if you fat finger a key, you don't know if you did. And then if you need to start over, there's no like restart into the button. You just hope that when you click command all and delete that there was something there to delete. It's just super frustrating uh, having to use that every day. And it just feels awful and I can't stand it. And I would switch just for that one feature because I have to, it's, how you get into the program and it's just it's a it's almost insulting <laughs> to, to users i still feel like i haven't fully implemented one pass just because it feels difficult to navigate and use where the actual buttons i need to click on it looks all right like i said before uh last pass felt like the buttons are where you would expect them to be the the usability is fairly easy, although it was just riddled with with bugs, right? It just wasn't consistent and has a kind of a, I mean, they might have updated, it's been a year, but it seemed like it was a, an older UI as far as how they were executing that at the time. They're they're both just okay. They're, they'll probably meet your, your needs for managing passwords. I would say LastPass was easier to onboard with and understand how to use and and share, but had inconsistencies. Whereas uh, OnePass seems to be more consistent, uh, but it doesn't. It's just kind of clunky to use. It's hard to navigate and find out where you actually need to go to to actually share a password. Where's the the vault section? Each of them kind of has this vault section. I find that. LastPass was easier to navigate to that uh, really central hub of where the users go when they log in. I'm just going to go with LastPass. I don't know if I'm just stuck in my old ways and don't like change. I don't, I don't know that that's true, but I still use LastPass, my personal LastPass account, but didn't opt in for a personal OnePass just because I haven't been impressed so far. I, I think it's a great space to, to be developing in. Uh, just know that I would think that both of their users are going to be people that uh, don't like re-entering in their passwords all the time. You know, it's like the whole idea is having one master password. Uh, and 
the demographic that you'd go after is people that you know are writing their passwords underneath their keyboards and things like that and so i don't want to say necessarily like people that are not as tech literate but you would think that you would invest in making that software so simple to use and very very secure and that would kind of be what you'd go after and it seems like maybe we've missed the mark in both categories of just the simplicity of just being able to it shouldn't be hard to navigate and it feels like it is and it'd be awesome if they maybe put some resources into on both sides to designing uh, something that's a little bit easier to to navigate and also has that consistency 